It depends on the diseases. In ALL, it's molecular. Flow, in Europe, we don't really do. In the States, a bit more, but we consider flow less, we in general, it's less sensitive and less reliable, so it's molecular. Quantity PCR is the, 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 the technology in ALL. In AML, for some patients, depends on the subgroups of AML, acute promyelocytic leukemia is all molecular, so it depends. For NPM positive also, for others a bit less, so you need flow. For other conditions, uh, CLL, definitely it's flow. Unless you want to, if it's negative in, by flow, in the blood and marrow you can do molecular. But flow is probably sufficient for CLL. If you go into myeloma, it could be flow, but it's probably better by molecular. It depends a bit on the disease. In lymphoma, it's molecular. Now, if we talk about molecular, the standard technology is quantity PCR, but now we're developing further technologies, which are digital droplet PCR and NGS, next generation sequencing. These are still investigational. Uh, they are probably going to refine the molecular testing by quantum PCR because the molecular biologist defines some patients as positive, not quantifiable by quantum PCR, meaning that there's a small signal, not sure whether it's disease or not. So now we are testing the we have already by digital and NGS, and these are more sensitive, and they're refining the characterization. So that's all very good, but this is for a tiny minority of countries, region, patients. I'm most worried of the world. And since we're going all this all more to refine characterization, monitoring and treatment, again, this is for only a few patients because it's all this more technological cost, who's paying, etc., etc., etc. So my concern is that technology are limited to some parts of the world and which are the large minority, really. With hematology becoming always more sophisticated, but obviously this implies uh, expertise, costs, and uh, who's covering. So it's an issue of accessibility to technology and drugs and sustainability. These are the two key questions or areas that I think we should keep in high priority.